when I started out, we were still messing around with 32 and trying to find a lab to do this stuff and getting your negative back and all that kind of nonsense. But, the, but what it's created is a, 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 a bunch of content providers, so many content providers, that, 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 and, and so many distribution bases that to really get known, you have to be exemplary and almost spectacular as an individual, as someone trying to break through. Because the corporations kind of control all the, the big pipelines, so they're going to hype up who they want to hype up and get their people out how, how they want to get them out. When I did Fair of a Black Hat, and we had our first screening, everybody, I couldn't believe it, how many people came to see it, just because there weren't a lot of black films being done. I mean, Townsend had done this thing, Spike had done this thing, but it was still kind of unique and different. That doesn't mean anything anymore. There's tons of that kind of stuff out there. So, to me, the way to get noticed now is to, there's, you can make a living in that kind of middle ground. You can scrape by just below the surface of that and make a living. But if you want to really get yourself out there, you have to do something that's incredible. That's what I would say. You have to rise above all the chatter because once everybody has a way to transmit what they have to say, everybody thinks they're good. All you got to do is watch American Idol tryouts to see it. I mean, it's interesting when you talk about believing in yourself. There are a lot of people that I want to say, stop believing. <laughs>